firms must offer rates of return competitive with alternatives available to investors. Otherwise, investors will choose the alternatives. The opportunity cost of funds is the rate of return on the next best investment alternative to the investor. When firms offer higher returns to investors, they are doing so to compensate for higher risk. Investors demand compensation for inflation and other elements of risk. Without compensation for these risks, investors would choose risk-free investments. The graph shows the rate of return in standard deviations of returns for common investment vehicles. The further to the right, the more risk, and thus the higher the required rate of return. So let's learn some new terms related to returns. Opportunity cost, in this context, is the rate of return on the next best investment alternative to the investor. Standard deviation in this context is the dispersion or variability around the mean or average rate of return in the financial markets. The higher the standard deviation, the more risk. Real rate of return is the rate of return earned above the rate of inflation. Maturity risk premium is an additional return required by investors in long-term securities to compensate for greater risk of price fluctuations on those securities caused by interest rate changes. When debt securities are many years from maturing, changes in interest rates can negatively impact the return. So investors require higher returns in order to buy securities like this. Liquidity risk premium is an additional return required by investors in securities that cannot quickly be converted into cash at a reasonably predictable price. If I own McDonald's stock, there is no liquidity risk because I can sell it immediately without concern. However, if I own stock in a privately held company or a company whose shares are traded far less frequently, there could be concern about how quickly I could sell. Thus, I would require a higher rate of return to compensate me for this risk. This table shows average returns over a 30-year period. Notice that inflation and interest rates have a direct relationship. These returns are affected by the degree of inflation, default premium, maturity premium, and liquidity premium. This chart makes it easier to see the correlation between returns and inflation.